The UK's airstrikes in Syria is an issue about people, about the people still living in the war-torn country and those who have already left. Targeted bombing against IS terrorists could have many outcomes, but Portsmouth anti-war protesters are certain about one thing. This is going to make the refugee crisis much, much worse. And the same people who seem to be supporting the war are the ones who are the most intransigent about letting in more refugees or about any kind of European solution to the refugee crisis. And that, we know, is going to make the refugee crisis much worse. David Cameron says the UK will accept 20,000 Syrian refugees over five years. But what if more people head towards Britain? We ask three Solent MPs who all support Syrian airstrikes. Havens Alan Mack thinks 20,000 is enough. Lots of refugees have left Syria already because they're fleeing from ISIL. So I don't think um, our intervention is particularly going to change the picture there. The UK is the second biggest bilateral donor to Syria after the United States. We're investing a lot of money uh, to try and uh, help people in the area. We've also done the right thing in taking 20,000 from the camps, the most desperate people uh, in the camps on the Syrian border, and actually relocating them to the UK. So I think uh, we have done our uh, fair share, and I think we look forward to uh, continuing to do that. Next up is Southampton's Royston Smith. He thinks bombing IS will ultimately lower refugee numbers. I'm in favour of us looking at all of this as it happens, as it unfolds. The idea of taking action now is to try and prevent any more refugees. It's ISIL that are pushing people, and Assad as it happens, that are pushing people to leave their country. 11 million displaced, 4 million refugees, 250,000 people dead. We need to stop that and we need a political solution and that's what Vienna is trying to do, a political solution working in tandem with this military action to try and stop more people leaving. Eastley's Mims Davies thinks military action is about Syrians returning to their country, not leaving it. She calls us from London. If we get this right, it means that we can go through a peace process with new governments in Syria, which means people can go home. And I think this is ultimately what most people want. So if we would join joint work um, in the area, minimise the civilian casualties, of course that will absolutely be a priority. But in order for people to go home in this complex and very much imperfect situation, we need to take ISIL on. And certainly I think if, if uh, Syrians want to go home, there's certainly no option now. We have to give them that chance going forward. Three MPs, three answers that some might call evasive. None of them openly agrees to welcoming more refugees to the UK. Around 1,000 Syrians are expected in the UK by Christmas, with more next year. It remains to be seen if the government's generous spirit will extend any further. Dale McEwen, that's Solent.